Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. Today is our 17th hidden figure. We are already 17 hidden figures in. And today's hidden figure is Dr. Veda Watson Somerville, DDS, who was born November 1st, 1885, and died October 28th, 1972. She was a civil rights activist and dentistry pioneer. She was the second Black American to graduate from the University of Southern California School of Dentistry and the first Black woman to be licensed to practice dentistry in the state of California. Veda Somerville was born Veda Watson on November 1st, 1885 in Pomona, California to Black American migrants from Arkansas. One of her brothers graduated from the University of Southern California Law School as one of the first Black American lawyers in California, and another was the first Black police officer in Los Angeles. In 1903, Somerville received a scholarship through the Los Angeles Times to the University of Southern California, or USC. After graduating from USC, she worked as a bookkeeper and telephone operator. In 1912, she married John Alexander Somerville, a doctor of dental surgery, who she met while they were both in college. The first Black American to graduate from the USC School of Dentistry, Somerville encouraged his wife to go back to school to become a dentist. After the United States entered World War I, Som Veda Somerville decided that she would go back to school. Women were encouraged to enter the workforce during this period as men were being drafted into the armed forces, but when she entered dental school at USC, she was the only woman and the only Black American in her class. In 1918, Somerville graduated with her DDS as the second Black American after her husband to finish the USC dental program. She then became the first Black woman to be licensed to practice dentistry in the state of California and practiced for 15 years. She and her husband shared a practice and patients until her retirement in 1933. The Somervilles were also civic-minded and active in real estate, with John Somerville establishing the La Veda Apartments, named after his wife, as the first modern apartment building constructed in Los Angeles specifically for Black tenants. They also founded the Hotel Somerville in 1927, an all-Black luxury hotel, as Los Angeles hotels at that time were segregated. The hotel was described as an elegant, all-black hostelry that symbolized both the possibilities of racial advancement and the realities of racial segregation. The hotel became a gathering place and activism space for black Americans who wanted social change, hosting such luminaries as Rosa Parks and W.E.B. Du Bois. And in 1928, the building served as the headquarters for the NAACP National Convention. Unfortunately, the stock market crash of 1929 and the subsequent Great Depression forced the Somervilles to sell the hotel. Renamed the Dunbar Hotel, it continued to be a welcoming space for visiting Black entertainers and was a center of cultural life for decades. After closing as a working hotel, it became a museum with local and national landmark status. Veda Somerville retired from dentistry in 1933, and after retiring, she decided to devote herself full-time to social welfare and civic work. As before she had even become a dentist, the Somervilles were community activists, starting the Los Angeles branch of the NAACP in their home in 1914. Veda participated in civil rights activism and community organizations, including with the Los Angeles League of Women Voters, the Council on Public Affairs, UCLA's YWCA, and the USC Half Century Club. In 1938, Veda was a co-founder of the Los Angeles chapter of the National Council of Negro Women. In 1948, she helped to co-found the Los Angeles County Human Relations Committee and established the Pilgrim House Community Center, a center to take care of the needs of Black families who migrated to Los Angeles during World War II. Her support of Black women especially was crucial to the creation of Black women's service organizations across LA. One of her final accomplishments was her creation of the Stevens House, a multiracial dormitory at UCLA. When the Stevens House was closed in 1992, profits from the sale of the building were used to establish the Stevens House Scholarship given to underrepresented students with financial need and academic potential. On October 16, 1972, John and Veda Somerville celebrated their 60th wedding anniversary. Dr. Veda Somerville died 17 days afterward in her home at age 87 in Los Angeles, California. The Somervilles are honored at USC Dental School, where their portraits hang as symbols of ambition and perseverance. USC also named a residential theme floor after the couple, Somerville Place, 
the goal of which is to foster a respect for black culture and create a sense of community on campus. Veda Somerville and her husband were written about in the Negro Trailblazers of California, a book of prominent black Californian pioneers by writer and historian Delilah L. Beasley, who I've also done a Hidden Figures on, so you can check out that one as well if you want to know more about Delilah L. Beasley. And that is Veda Watson Somerville, a dentistry and civil rights pioneer and a hidden figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. There will be more links and information in the description box. Food for thought as always. See you guys next time. Peace.